Yo, what's up guys? Um, I'm back again with another quick video. I'll show you guys um, little techniques here and I want to have a little talk with you guys about products and rotaries again. And one of my subscribers say I should upgrade my rotary back here, rotary buffer. So uh, what I want to say, uh, to me, it's, it's good enough. You know, I don't polish a whole lot of cars every day. I don't do no whole lot of buffing on cars. Like, 95% of my customer cars, as I already stated in my videos, I use by hand. You know, I don't really do a whole lot of putting machine on other people's cars. I do my own cars. I don't, you know, mess around with other people's cars too much. And most of these newer cars don't need all that. Most of them just need a basic wash and a basic wax or something like that. You know, anybody can shine a new car up, guys. Keep that in mind. You know, most of these new cars, the paint job is already looking pretty good. All right, now here's the rotaries that my one of my subscribers was talking about. Said I need to upgrade this. But it's good enough with me, guys. The point is, I'm just showing you guys. You can, when you're using the rotary buffer you can damage the paint on somebody's car you can burn the paint if you're not experienced with it that's what i was talking about in my last video i want to tell you it's not for beginners it stains very heavy it's awkward to work with and uh it's got some power to it you can burn or bump somebody's car too hard put a dent in because it it's got weight to it. it's heavy all right now moving over here this is more for us, a beginner you know, for somebody where well, this one here is not going to damage your paint or none of that stuff. You know, you're just going to spray the wax or a compound or whatever on, and you buff it back off, and you ain't got to worry about damaging nobody's car, paint job, a truck, SUV, or nothing like that. All right? So, guys, look at the last video, and the point should be clear. I don't need to upgrade because the DA polish and the rotary is something that I do not use very often. Them two is good enough for me. It's good enough for me. I don't use them much. Why would I spend $150 and $300 on a DWAP <laughs> rotary buffer when I might use it one, two or three times out of the year? It's nonsense. Okay, guys, what I want to show you here is how faded this paint is. I want to show you that professional products, cheaper products can work just as good as professional products. Okay, here we go. See how faded this is? And all this? Okay, here's turtle wax. Compound. I'm going to spread it up there to bring it back some. just want to show you guys this. Alright. The microfiber's right there. So people always um, try to push you guys onto the high-end products or whatever, whatever, you know. It's all about the name of stuff that makes stuff work. Okay, let's buff this back off. To be honest, guys, most of the products are basically do the same thing. You know, a lot of times, people just pushing the name of a product. Got to keep it real with you guys. A lot of times they just pushing the name. Oh, this Meguiar's man, that's good. Oh, that's Chemical Guys, man, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's Adams, man, that's some good stuff made by Adams. Oh, that's Grills Garage, man, that's real good there. To be honest, man, a lot of them just pushing the name of the products. Actually, it's no better than the Turtle Wax. Seriously. They're just pushing the name, man. Okay, look at there. All right, now we're going to use some swirl remover. All the idea there is to take out the scratches, some of the compound put. You know what I'm saying? Or you can use the polish. Okay, you see the compound made that look good right there. Okay, let's hit it with some swirl remover. But we're going to take out some of the compound scars. So all we're going to do, 
prove a point here. That cheap products can work just so good as more expensive stuff. And it can be done by hand, guys. You always got to have them high-priced rotaries. You know, if you're doing your own car, even if somebody else's car, I mean, if it, it might be slower, but, you know, you tell them you get your time frame, man, you know, when you're doing cars and stuff like that. They got to be patient. They want the car details, you know. That's why I see it. They know you ain't but one person if you're doing that kind of stuff, you know. So they got to give you time to really get the car looking the way, you know, time for you to finish the car. So guys, oh man, there's more time when you're using that, y'all. Yeah, here it is, but um, more pass, you know, more polishing pad, more wood pads, more pads too. No pads ain't free, so you know, uh, it's cheaper actually to just do it by hand. A lot of times I do my customer car guy, I use spray wax, you know, something easier. Well, I ain't gonna redo really a whole lot of compounding and stuff like that. You know, okay, let's take this back off. All the thing this done here, just take off some of the sand scratches and stuff to try to bring it out. Now this does need paint. Not gonna change the fact that it need paint. But this is just to show you that it'll work to bring take off oxidized paint surfaces and stuff like that. Some of the cheaper line will work just as good as the professional line right here. You know, it'll work. All I'm gonna do the job, to be honest. People won't tell you that, though. I'm going to tell you the truth. All of them will do the job, man. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to use the Turtle Wax Polishing Compound. Okay. That's licking it up some. I already see a difference. Okay. Let's hit it. We're on the road, guys. We can't stop. Okay. Don't take that much of that product. Turtle wax polishing compound. Here we go. Hope you guys they cleared it up about the rotary buffers and the DA polishers. I don't use them much. You know, I don't need to upgrade because I don't hardly use them. Them two is a plenty for me. I might buy me one from Walmart. Just a polisher. Or something just a 10 inch because it's bigger and a couple more, you know, it's faster to use, I will say, because it's bigger. But, um, polisher is something I hardly use that much, you know. Most time when I get my customers' cars, I just wash them, spray wax them, you know, or something like that. I don't do a whole lot of putting DA polishers on them. I don't think it's necessary. Not every car needs buffing, you know, put it like that. Most of the cars that you guys see me cleaning up, the cars don't need a whole lot of paint correction, man, or buffing on and all this stuff. A basic wax, wash and wax and stuff like that. And a clay, you know, get them cars straightened out, man. All that stuff I ain't needed, man. A lot of that stuff people do is unnecessary, in my opinion. Okay, guys, buff this back off. You find yourself working yourself to death, no, but. For no <laughs> Tell you the truth, guys. <laughs> You'll find yourself working yourself to death. I'm telling you, man. Some of that stuff people do to cars just ain't called for now. Y'all about to believe it now. Cars don't need all that stuff, man. Come on now. <laughs> so, <laughs> it just ain't needed, man. I'm telling you. People throw you off with that me. Y'all can believe it you want to. And you see how good that look right there? That's for turtle wax products, man. Look at that. Okay. Now, we're going to do this side here with the Meguiar's products. We're going to start off with the fire cut cleaner. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, guys, some uh, some people just work it to death, man. I'm telling you, well, all this stuff ain't needed. And y'all better believe it. You work yourself to death. Your car don't need all that polishing and scrubbing and this and that. 
I stuff a key, man. <laughs> you get out there in the machine all you want to. These people ain't work me to death. I'm telling you. I give them a basic car wash and I I wax it and stuff like that, man. But that, it's some work in that stuff. I'm going to tell you the truth, guy. It's a hard work in it, man. Ain't gonna work me to death. He can keep his money. Money ain't everything now. That stuff will work it to death. And y'all know what I'm talking about too. So can't work yourself to death behind no paint correction and all this stuff. <laughs> y'all know where I'm coming from. Okay, let's take that back off. <sighs> work yourself to death if you want to. <laughs> Most of them don't do them, but pay the same thing anyway. You know? Sure, people don't have one to pay nothing. People work you to death, man. Check that out. See, both sides is compatible. See? Now that's just with the fine cut cleaner. Alright? Now, we're going to use the swirl mover. Just take out the little fine scratches here that the fine cut put in there. I'm telling you guys, don't get too extreme over this stuff. I enjoy doing my own cars also. I'm going to be honest, guys. Some of this stuff working to death. And y'all know what I'm talking about too, don't you? People are working to death, man. That uh, detailing stuff ain't, ain't no easy work. Sometimes it ain't worth the money out there in that hot sun for a few dollars. I'm trying to tell you now, I ain't carried away over this stuff. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. This stuff working to death, man. So, gotta have your health and strength too now. My paint correction part one, two. Yeah, that sun, sun part three when that sunshine beaming down on you out there. Yeah, heat stroke number four. <laughs> sure. So I tell you, um, at the end of the winter time, it's too cold. You know, it's a lot of work involved in that stuff, man. Okay, let's bump this back off. It looks good. See there? Just showing you all these products are basically do the same job, you know. Ain't no really. Some of them do a little bit than others, you know. But they also cost more. But if you're just looking for taking, you know, trying to get oxidation or trying to bring a car back to life and all that kind of stuff. Check that out, guys. As you can see, this side look pretty good. And this side look pretty good. I ain't even put the show car glaze up there yet. But look at there. Compared to this. See that? My point here, I'm just showing you guys, all the products are do basically the same thing for what you want it to do, you know, whether you get this system, turtle wax system, it still do decent and good enough, as you can see right there. It doesn't change the fact it needs paint, but it look better. All right, here, if you want to spend more money, you can get the McGuire system here, and uh, it does the job too, and you can see it. So, you know, I ain't trying to sweeten up no products or nothing like that, guy. I'm just telling the truth, man. Uh, you know, all I'm going to do, ain't no one product that'll really do a whole lot more than the other one going to do. You know, all I'm going to basically do the trick, man. You know, that's my point. You know, <laughs> I'm like future, man. I'm just being honest. You know, all I'm going to, you know, I basically do the trick. Really, one no better than the other. You see that feeling looking good. From both products. That's the point. Alright. So guys. Uh, take notes man. Before you get out there. And work yourself to death. In that heat and stuff man. There's a lot of work in detailing man. And stuff ain't easy. That's why I say. Every car don't need buff. Every car don't need no. Rotary buff on. Every car don't need no DA polishing. No. I ain't working myself to death. Nobody. I sure ain't. Too much work involved for me. I just like really review products. Guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you on the next video.